Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video of our programming language series. In this video, I'll be talking about another uh, map, another plot in R. It's called heat map. So let's see today uh, how we can draw a heat map in R, right? So we can uh, use the uh, heat map function, uh, which is already in built in R to create or to draw the heat map with no parameters. For that, for this uh, heat map function, we don't have to install or load any library, right? It's in built in R. It's uh, you can see it here. I've written here. One can build in base R using the heat map function with no parameters. The only requirement is uh, it will be taking the data as the matrix. So input data will be in the form of matrix. In case if you have a data frame available, then make with the help of as dot matrix function, we can convert that content or that data into a matrix. So, uh, but the another condition that uh, the data should be all numeric, right? So this is the requirement of the heat map. And uh, there are some terminologies that we should know about the heat map that every column, each column is a variable for the heat map. Uh, each observation is a row and each square is a value. So let's see it here with a very small little example uh, to kick start with. So it is having empty cars as an input data set, right? The in empty cars is an inbuilt data frame available in the R language, we all know. We already have used this in a uh, couple of times in the uh, in, in my video series. So let's see it here. For, let's first convert this into a metric so that we can pass to the heat map with no other parameter. For that, we are just using a simple little uh, uh, this uh, piece of code right in this nothing is uh, special simply we are converting the empty cars data frame into a matrix and we are storing in a data and we are drawing the heat map out of this let's see it here what kind of heat map we generated you can see it here the heat map was generated in which we have uh, all the columns you can see it here uh, there's a column like cylinder am vs car you can see it here at the bottom on the right side there are row names available right you can see it here these are uh, row names available, but actually this heat map is not very insightful. Uh, the reason is that all the variation is absorbed by the HP and displacement variables that have very high values compared to others. So we need to normalize this data. This data is uh, not, it's not a, like insightful uh, graph, right? On the left side or uh, over there, you can see these are nothing but called as a dendrograms. So it's a separate topic, uh, although it's represent the network structure, right? So I'll talk about this dendrograms in a separate video. So now let's move it further. This is a regular heat map we have generated with the help of empty cars data frame. So now uh, let's let's normalize the matrix because I've already stated that uh, it's not an insightful uh, map. So let's normalize this. So let me go back to this and let's we can normalize with the help of scale function or scale argument of the heat map function. Now you will find that data will be properly normalized, right? And you'll be getting a better picture of the uh, this uh, matrix, right? So here. So let me copy this only and let me paste it again. So let's see it here, uh, what, we, what we received. You can see it here now the uh, heat map is been uh, properly distributed. It's been normalized so that you can see the things in a better shape, right? This is the heat map with the help of scale argument in which we are passing the column, right? Moving further, now you can see it here in the heat map that in the previous two heat maps that we have generated, in both the heat maps, uh, you can see some dendrograms available on the both sides and the ordering is not maintained, right? We need to now change the ordering as per our matrix, right? So let's see it here, how we can do it. We can do it with the help of this, uh, uh, this these uh, parameters, right? So we need to now uh, change this. For that, we have a column V equal to NA and row V equal to NA. Let's do it here. It will be uh, giving you the data, this, this, uh, uh, heat map without any dendrogram and it will be doing the reordering of the data as well. So let's see it here. If there's any change available. Yes, the change is available. You can see the uh, the this one has been uh, re uh, reordered and you can see it there that there's no dendrograms available now, right? This is the advantage of having these parameters. Uh, we have a call V and we have the row V available, right? Moving further now, let, let's uh, change the colors, right? Let's try to change the colors of this heat map. Like regular, now it's been shown with these colors. I want to change. I want to uh, have a different colors for that. For that, uh, plus I'm also be adding the X label uh, and Y label as well. In addition to it, I'm also I also want to add the heat map as my main or the title of this heat map. For that, I'm using this uh, another uh, 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 query. Let's see it here. What will be the change we'll be getting? So if I run this uh, stuff, you can see it here. Now we have the 
uh, you can see it uh, we have the this x label and y label got printed the car is been hidden here like you can see it here prop, uh, under this uh, chrysler and lincoln car this is a car written and we also have a variable written plus we also have the title written as well so it means everything got added that we also have seen in the regular graphs as well so we have have our input data we want to get rid of the dendrograms on both sides plus reordering should be there and we are doing uh, normalization with the scale uh, uh, argument the color is being done with the help of cm dot colors it's it's inbuilt color palette available and we have a x label which is variable y label car and the main is a heat map right this is the point next one is another example we have taken in which uh, again we have a data frame available and we are changing with the as dot matrix in which we are using r norm r norm is nothing but is used to uh, generate the uh, uh like uh, uniformly distributed numbers random numbers right in which it will take three arguments uh, n means how many uh, values you require then we have a mean available then we have a standard deviation available so the default standard deviation is one so mean we are passing as five it's up to you like how uh, uh, how much uh, mean or how much uh, standard deviation you want to pass right uh, it's a it means if you don't know the data right and you want to generate some data frame this is the best way of doing it in which the randomly uh, generated numbers will be shown right with the r norm function for that let's uh, do it here so i'm i'm also giving the uh, uh, the names here a b c d e and i'm also giving the column names as well uh, f g h i and uh, as I've already told you that the uh, uh, heat map only uh, accepts the matrix. So that's why we're using as.matrix function. Let's run this one and let's see uh, what kind of heat map will be generated out of this. So I'm copy this code and paste it here. Let's see what's the answer we received now. You can see it here, A, B, C, D, E and I, G, H, F. And these are the colors got uh, added. And these are the uh, inbuilt uh, title, which is a uh, test heat map, which we have passed. And these are the dendrograms on both sides right so this marks the end of this video in which i have explained what is heat map and how we can draw this with the uh, without using any package in r for other content i'll be covering in a next video thanks for watching guys see you next video